Well, I hope that exercise generated some interesting discussion. For those of you that felt this area was too dangerous to mop up, how did you go about refusing the assignment? It's always a difficult situation when you're given an assignment that you just don't feel comfortable with. To help you out, the Incident Response Pocket Guide has a section on how to properly refuse risk. Feel free to refer to it as we hear from a hotshot superintendent in Alaska talk about refusing an assignment. Turn down assignments, none up here. I've uh, suggested other ways of going around and accomplishing the same objective which I don't consider refusing an assignment. I just brought up the idea that, you know, that's not a good idea of reaching up that objective this way. Well, if a person feels like their crew can't accomplish that or their resources can't accomplish an assignment, well, then they shouldn't be doing it. That doesn't necessarily mean that somebody who's more experienced can go and do it. But on the other hand, um, you get, it's a pretty tough area there. As the division super, if I ask one crew to do it and he turns it down, that, per, that crew turns it down and another crew says they can do it. How am I sure that that person can? We should all be, uh, the, all the IHCs should be fairly knowledgeable on everything. If one of the, one of the IHCs turns something down, it, it, I, in a perfect world, it, nobody should be, they should reevaluate. Mm -hmm. The only place I see any difference is uh, location. I fought fire in the southwest a lot, but I'm not as comfortable as somebody who does it every day. I have to go in and get acclimated. And, and then, yeah, yeah, if I haven't done it every, year, every day, every year, or I haven't done it in three or four years, I'm not going to be as comfortable.